I just think it was inconsiderate of you to make us worry all day long while you used gallivanting over to Gainesville to pick up Bitsy May Harling, a known convict. And now she's living with you? Oh, it's only temporary till she gets on her feet. Well, I hope you hid your jewelry. It just seemed the Christian thing to do, Latrell. She's not a bad person if you get to know her. No, thank you. And don't expect me to come visit you while she's living there. Oh, I won't. Well, if we had gone to visit Brother Boy yesterday as planned, he probably wouldn't be in a coma right now. Please do not make me feel more guilty than I already feel. You know, Mama, I've never told you this, but sometimes, sometimes I don't know how you sleep at night after what you've done to Brother Boy. Well, sometimes I don't. I filled up on pump number two, Vera. Oh, and Sissy needs a carton of her cigarettes. Wow. That'll be thirty-two oh nine plus twenty-seven even for the gas. Thank you. I felt that. <laughs> okay, I know where you were last night, Mama. I was driving all over, worried sick, looking for you, and I found you at that bar at Bubba's. And I saw you dancing, if you could call it that, with that ingrate GW nether guy. Now you listen to me, you little pill popping bitch. I'll keep your secret and you keep mine. Understand? Do we have an agreement, Charlie Sue? 